Gigi. Hi, hon. I came over. What's the matter? Rex. What? He just moved out. Oh, God, honey, I'm so sorry. You want to talk about it? I, I know Shane just came home from the hospital. Lois makes these. They're outrageously good. Thank you. He'll love them. What's his prognosis? We don't know. He didn't reject the transplant, but now we have to just wait and see if it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Well, thank God your sister was a match, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And Shane's strong. He's, he's the best of his dad and me. So... He just has to beat this. That's all that matters. Well, it is the most important thing, yes. But, honey, it's not all that matters. <sighs> Darling, you were so happy before your sister came to town. And then Shane got sick, and since then, nothing you've done with your life, darling, has made any sense at all. So I have to ask you if Rex's leaving has anything to do with Stacy. How did you know I'd be here tonight? I didn't. I just took a shot. And I figured you wouldn't be at my sister's place. You figured right. What's with the suitcase? Did something happen with you and Skylar? Yeah, something happened, but, you know, you got your own stuff. You know, I, I should go somewhere else. No, no, uh, stay. Please. Looks like we could both use somebody to talk to. Sure. That's what you really want. Honey, I know you. I knew you before Rex came into your life, and I've known you since, and none of this adds up. Well, with all due respect to Vicki, there's a lot you don't know about me. That is very true. What I do know is what you told me, honey, that you've had a lot of trouble with Stacy ever since she came here, like her parading around half naked in front of her. It's Rex. not Stacy, it's me, okay? I slept with someone else. I cheated on Rex. That's all there is to it. Yeah, so you said. Honey, I don't believe it. I didn't then and I don't now. It's true. And it wasn't just someone. It was Brody. Yeah, just heard that. You did? Who yeah. from? Natalie. Oh, she hates me now. Well, she grew up with Rex as her brother. So she's furious with you and Brody. I'm sorry about that. She loves Rex. You love Rex. You didn't sleep with Brody. I don't believe it. What I can't figure out is, since it didn't happen, why are you saying it did, darling? What is really going on? Yeah, Skylar and I had this big blowout after all that crazy stuff he tried pulling at the hospital. It's weird. Lifting some stranger's blood sample, dangling it in front of me, saying it was yours. Yeah, I'd say weird doesn't really cover it. Yeah. This guy's problem, anyway. I told him you'd never have a chance with me. Well, people can act crazy when they feel that way about someone. I know, you're right. So I guess I was actually pretty lucky he kicked me out when he did. Yeah, it's for the best. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you had to spend all that time wandering around, upset. What are you gonna do? Look, Rex, I have no money. I have no place to go. Can I, can I stay here with you? Someone here? Mrs. Davidson. I'm sorry, it was such a brat. You weren't a brat. Come here. You were just upset. Because we all are. You're my guy, and I would die for you. Sure. Of, yeah, of course we can stay. You probably saved my son's life. At least I can do is let you stay here a night or two. Thank you. I will get some blankets and a pillow. You, you'll never even know I was here. <laughs> Wow, a 
this is easier than I thought, sissy. Towels are in the cupboard next to the bathroom. You are a lifesaver. No, that'd be you. Really, thank you for letting me stay here. Don't mention it. Is there anything that I can do? I mean, you just seem so sad. I am. I, I've been all over the map since all this went down with Sh Shane and and then with Gigi. I mean, I've had problems before, big ones. But I don't think anything's ever felt as bad as this. Rex, I'm really sorry. 